Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a daily psychic tarot reading, checking in on the day's energies, requesting any divine messages that we can use, news we can use that would help us along our path today. So, all right. <clears throat> This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. All right. So in the past, we've got the page of pentacles in reverse. I don't know if you can see all the, the sage is going crazy today. I'm going to clean the area. And I'm seeing also, I'm being drawn to the bottom of the deck that I put down as the tower. I feel like um, something is happening right now, like a clearing of something, clearing the air, shift, a shift in the air. I feel like what it's revealing is can be shocking feels like it has something to do with the um, full moon so that's in present energy back to past in the past we've got the page of pentacles in reverse something this one couldn't make a start uh couldn't failure to launch um not being able to act on a new beginning, not being able to have a new beginning. I feel like this is, I, I'm, as I'm tuning into this energy, it feels really um, self-conscious and insecure. Um, not comfortable. This is someone not comfortable with not knowing this feels like someone, even though they're in this page of pentacles and reverse energy, it feels like they've mastered some aspects of their life, but not whatever this new beginning is. And so it's making them feel um, inept, um, unsure, that instability that comes with starting something new that you are unfamiliar with. I feel like that's what's so difficult about this is there at, in some areas, this person is viewed as uh, maybe a master of their field or very revered. And yet there are other aspects of their life that are where they are um, ineffectual. And so, um, it feels hot, difficult for this person to resolve. Like some people see me as a master at what I do and other people in other arenas see me as a burden and not very far along on the journey. And, and that's true. Those could be very true assessments. Okay, so this person having uh, wanting to have a new start but unable, it's because they are they're trying to create a new start off of the energy of lie and confusion, brutality. Um, yeah, that's um. So they're sowing the seeds of confusion, brutality, chaos, lies, uh, trying to obfuscate people's judgments, try to paint a picture that they want people to how to perceive. And so it, it it's hard to create a new beginning when it's it it's um fiction. 
there we go. It's fiction. It's delusional. It's fantasy. It's not based in truth. Oh my gosh. Wow. Both of these. So this is someone in the past trying to have a new beginning. Not only the Ace of Swords in reverse, but the Ace of Cups in reverse. There's no heart in this new beginning. Their emotions are blocked. Their heart's blocked. Their this is someone very confused about what love is and they don't love themselves that they have they have survived off of others um other energies wow you know as i'm tuning into this this you might recognize this from your own personal story if you'd like just kind of broaden the perspective a bit and see how in the collective this has been playing out people trying to have a new beginning but stepping off and from a very um a place of lack and confusion and lies and they are perpetuating these things hey, if you tune into that energy i think it's easier if it's not someone you know but a, just someone you can it feels like it's coming from a real um terrified a lack place someone who's been in the desert for so long um where they've, they've got a lot of blocks. Um, I feel for that. I have a lot of compassion for this person. However, the people who are running this type of energy are um, very destructive. Their fear is covering a lot of pain, emotional and mental pain. And so they're... Um, so they're allowing unconsciously fear and pain to be their driving force, how they're, where they're making their decisions from. And I know whenever I make a decision from fear or pain, it, um, it's never lasting. That's for sure. It's the best I feel like I can reach when I'm, trying to manifest from a place of pain or fear is relief and it's short term. And it's usually then I get stuck in just trying to find some relief, um, get caught up in a pattern of seeking relief instead of, and then my energy is going towards relief seeking instead of being able to, you know, what would get me out of this scenario permanently? But I do, I mean, I've, I've explored being stuck. I get it. I feel for these people, although um, brutal. The seeds they're sowing are, are very brutal. All right. In current energy, we've got the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, now I'm getting that current energy, something about a tower. This is someone um, hmm, does not know how to, uh, they're overwhelmed by their emotions. I feel like this is someone who's generally upright but there's something that there, there, something has happened, like a tower, something shocking, something unexpected. And this person's in their emotions and uh, yeah. they feel isolated. Their emotions are making them feel isolated and Mm. they might be partying too much they might be around people who are uh, indulgent 
feel like this person is having a difficult time being seen or understood by the typical people around them. And so they might have felt comfortable in an, um, a setting, but something they've outgrown their environment. Wow, they're really out of balance. This person has experienced an amazing amount of um, injustice. feel like that's also, so that's what is in their emotions. Something about this injustice is coming up and it's making it difficult for this person to find their alignment. Mm. This person has... Um, I feel like they're soul searching. They don't know which way to go. And they might be um, drawn to fantasy or delusion or kind of creating, hmm, creating uh, fantasies in their head. There's a lot of confusion in this. I feel like the confusion is part of the tower. What is this in regards to? What? This could be someone in your environment, someone who um, you've met recently who you're really drawn to. You have a lot of matches. You have a lot of um, positive, like wonderful qualities that are very matchtastic with this person, as well as um, experiences difficult experiences that you've gone through. I think for some of you, there's this being drawn to this person and then aversion and then drawn to and then aversion. Right now, I feel like you're both in a aversion, at least at the time of this reading, where um, I feel like there's some spiritual work this person has showed up shown up in your environment to help you deal with help you not deal help you discover help you both um balance what has been so imbalanced help you you both are so lonely and imbalanced and unsure about your options uh, but both of you are, aren't sharing with each other how you feel you both are um staying um privately sad <laughs> privately confused there's like all this stuff going on and you both are working on it but you're not being real and authentic about what you're experiencing with each other that you both are triggering and activating things within each other um It does look like in this current energy, like that's going to shift, that there's a possibility for coming clean. I think part of why you both are um, like coming together and then there's this aversion, you kind of go apart, find your balance and then you're drawn back together because you guys are drawn back together when you are the most yourselves. And then you, you kind of 
trigger each other. But what I'm liking here, oh, what I'm seeing here is an old way that you, this scenario would have worked is that you would trigger each other and then you would try to change each other. I need you to show up differently so I can feel comfortable. I need you to show up differently so I can feel comfortable. Um, so that's codependent, needing someone to be different so you can feel good. So you don't have to do any changing. You make try to control your environment and shift everybody to please you. What I'm getting here is you guys trigger each other, activate each other, like um, get little doses and then you separate and instead of needing the other to change, you both find your own alignment with yourself with your higher self and work through those issues and then come back. That actually, if that sounds kind of like this weird thing that's going on, very like an accordion, you come together, you're so drawn to this person. And then you, you're you like, oh no. And then you're drawn again. That's what's going on. It's, um, you're figuring out a different way of doing things. You're not projecting um, that they need to change. You're just realizing, you know, is this an important issue? Is this a red flag? Is this a deal breaker? Um, yeah, it's it's activating your heart, both of your heart spaces. Is this someone, uh, okay, let's see. There is some type of, it's, it, you both are seeking security, stability. Think you're both wanting um to find your own and then within a partnership and also I, it does look like you guys are also clearing up um attachments attachment styles so you find yourself like needing this person and you're like no oh, i don't want to need like in that strong but like um an unhealthy obsessive type of need I think you guys are also both being, there's something very non-traditional about the two of you. This isn't your typical person you would be attracted to, which is exactly the point. It's more spiritual attraction. And um your, you might have beliefs, both of you have beliefs about age, height, size, weight, some um, the looks. Hmm. Boy, I feel like, um, Both of you definitely have this, I'm alone, I'm isolated, I do things by myself. Both of you also, it feels somewhat purposeful, it's how you keep yourself safe. So you've got this two sides of the coin. I wanna keep myself safe and I do that by limiting who has access to me. And most of the time I feel the safest by myself with in my own company. That's one side of the coin, the energetic coin. The other side is I'm so freaking lonely. 
So it's like, is it safe? Is it safe to allow someone in? Is it safe to be myself? Is it safe to um ooh, that hits like a lot of like um sad like uh, um grief. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Grief and sneezes. Okay. In the center of your reading is the page of wands in reverse. A lack of action. A lack of passion. Lack of passion. So no action. Wah, wah. This is about a new beginning. And this is about someone in your energy helping you with a new beginning. Interesting. There's something that you've been working on. I feel like you've been working on it for a while. I feel like there's... Um, Something about your job right now is there's a lack of inspiration, a lack of passion. That's what that is. Uninspired. There's something um, that you've been working on for a long time, and it just hasn't. Um, yeah, I'm feeling that a lack of movement, a lack of forward movement, a lack of progress. Your, so if there is something that you've been working on, this could be a work project, this could be a passion project, it does feel like something that you've put a, quite a bit of time in, and it's not having the results that you wanted. The suggestions I'm getting here is to try one more time. There's something, it feels like you're right on a precipice. And if you can get past that um, boring or not bored, but disappointment, disappointment, because it looks like you had some expectation of what it would be. And so you started feeding the expectation of what you needed it to be instead of enjoying what it is and appreciating what it is what it be this looks like um something quick is going to shift about this work project whatever this is rapid change feel that coming in um, the change it's very masculine it's on masculine side communication feel like this is surprise and delight like oh my gosh oh my gosh I was almost I was ready to give this up it's interesting the energy comes in on your masculine side and it's your feminine energy that allows it that receives this allows um It, it seems to have something to do with divine timing and then some type of belief that you're shedding in your heart space about yourself. Um, something that um, in this energy gets released so you can have the success that you've been waiting for, that you've been working for a lot all right so your challenge right now is nine of wands your challenge is you're, you're very defensive you're a wounded warrior i feel like whoever this person is they 
I feel like you guys are mirroring each other. <laughs> you guys are so mirroring each other. Um. Oh my gosh. Wow. At some point, someone's got to trust someone. I'm also getting that there's a little bit of, if this person isn't perfect, perfect picture, this person needs to not stir anything within me. And I, I think you might be missing the point of the connection because it feels like you have growth You've got a, quite a growth trajectory and expansion. If you're with someone who's easy, completely, like they're not even really, they, they don't influence your energy at all. They don't uh, inspire you. They don't bring some passion for change out then really you're you're wanting to date a rock or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like um and I get that. I'm I'm feeling that I've been through too much. I I they can't make me feel anything but positive. I can't feel I, I'm I'm still healing to feel that like I can't take it anymore. I'm still healing. So what do we need to know? What would be helpful? This person, um, the challenge, I feel like this person, you guys are challenging each other in the best way, even if this isn't your person. And I feel like this is a very pivotal, important connection to help you, both of you. Find your celebration, find your joy, find your harmony. You both are wanting to find community and homecoming, wanting to come home, you know, in that heart space. Create a safe space for each other where you can show up as yourself and that be okay, that you don't have to show up to please someone else, that you show up as yourself and they can show up as themselves and that's okay it's acceptable feels like a lot of um opportunities for conscious agreements and you both are in this um a deci decision Ooh, difficult decision i feel like at times you guys are like, this is great. And then, and then it contracts and you guys separate and avoid. And you're like, no way. But there's decisions here. See if there's a possible outcome. Ooh. I feel like one of you might be more invested than the other. And that might be um, part of the lesson. Do you chase? Are you do you get too attached too fast? All right, that's your reading. I hope this was helpful. Take care, bye.